Hi, Eric here, and right now I'm going to show you how to get your coach list and your customer list downloaded from your coach online office so that you can upload it into Teamsy. And this is really easy, okay? So first, we're going to start with customers. Um, and the reason we're going to start with customers first is because sometimes your customers become coaches. And if in, in some instances they're duplicated in the system, if you do customers first, Teamsy is intelligent enough to recognize that and they're going to keep that person as a coach when they import them. Okay, so we're going to go through my customers. So you go right here, my customers under my business, okay, in the online office, and then customer search. Okay, and once that loads up, all we need to do now is the report's ready to run. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just go to Excel. Just select Excel. It's your second option. And then click Export. Okay, and that just takes a second to export. Okay, and so you'll see now in my downloads, there it is right there. There's my customer search report. It's already downloaded to my downloads. Now I'm going to go back to my business and we're going to get the coach list. So this time we're going to go downline and I'm going to do personally sponsored. You could also do full genealogy. It depends on how deep you want to go. Um, or you could just do coach search. This is probably the best way to do it. So here we go, coach search. And now the same thing, I'm going to take it to Excel. Okay, the same, same, topic, uh, same file type, Excel, and click export. And that's it, it's downloaded. So you can see now in my downloads, there's the downline search for my coaches, and there's my customer search, they're right there. So those are now ready to go. That's all you have to do. Now you've got those saved to your desktop, and now we'll toggle back to Teamsy, and we'll upload them. Um, into Teamsy. So here's how we do that. We're going to go back to, to Teamsy and here I am um, under settings where I'm going to do import. Okay, I'm going to click import and it's asking me to upload the file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click choose file and it's going to take me to my downloads and now I'm going to grab that customer list that I just downloaded from Beachbody And um, now it's processing my file. Boom, there it is. Now we click Next Step. Okay. Um, it's going to tell me it's mapping columns, but there's no problem, so I don't need to look at that. I'll go to the next step. Great. So now it's totally ready. We're going to import contacts. Just takes a second. You see how easy this is? Okay, so now it's now it's imported all of my customers, and it's you can see that it's put them onto my Teams page. You can also see that this list of customers is already listed as customers, so it's already put them in the customer group for me automatically because Teamsy recognizes that export from the Coach Online Office as customers. So now what I want to do is go on back and now put in my coaches. So I'm going to go back here to customer data again, import. Now we're going to upload the coach file that we just downloaded. Okay, so that was this one, downline search. There we go. Okay, there we go, same thing. All right, next step, boom, ready to import my contacts, import. So you guys can see how incredibly easy this is. We did, we did a lot of work on the back end to make this easy for you. Okay, so now you can see it's now dropped me back onto my Teams page. If I were to click on Coaches, you can see all my coaches are there now, and they've got them all listed in as Coach. So now I have my group of customers, and I have my group of coaches. Okay, so that's all done for you. Now the next step is to rank them, and so make sure you go to the ranking video to, to see how to do that and why it's so important. Talk to you soon.